Hi, welcome to this video. I am Prajwal Shinde and in this video I am going to show you how to upload your files to your web host using FTP. Inside this video, we are going to discuss what is FTP and why you need it. Which FTP software should you use? How to download and install the FTP software on your computer? And how to set up a connection to your web host from your computer using FTP? By the end of this video, you will have a clear idea on how to transfer web pages and other files from your computer to your web host. That brings us to the first point which is what is FTP and why you need it. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. It is a method of transferring web pages and other files from your computer to your web host. The FTP process is similar of transferring files from one folder of your computer to another folder. But in this case, you'll be transferring files from your computer to the computer of your web host. You need a special piece of software to do this. Next, I'll show you which software to use to transfer files from your computer to your web host. In prajwalshinde.com, we recommend a free piece of software called FileZilla. Next, I'll show you how to download and install FileZilla on your computer. First, go to www.filezilla-project.org, download the software and install the software. Let's go ahead and do that now. At first, open the web browser on your computer and in the address bar type www.filezilla-project.org and hit the enter button. You'll be taken to the home page of FileZilla. To download FileZilla on your computer, scroll down and click on the button which says download FileZilla client. Once you click on the button, you'll be taken to the download page. In the download page, you'll be given links to download FileZilla for major operating systems like Windows, Linux and Macintosh. In this case, we are using a Windows computer, so I will download the FileZilla for Windows version. Click on the link below the Windows. Once you click on the link below the Windows, click on Save File and the download begins. Once the download of the FileZilla is completed, go ahead and double click on the FileZilla or go and find the file where you have saved the FileZilla download and double click on that. This will open the installation wizard for FileZilla. Click on I agree and make sure you have selected anyone who uses this computer and click on next. And the next step make sure all the boxes are checked and click on next. Select the appropriate destination folder for installing your FileZilla FTP client and click on next. And finally click on install. You should be getting this completing the FileZilla client and the version of FileZilla setup if everything is done correctly. To start FileZilla now, check this box and click on finish and this will open FileZilla on your computer. Once you click on finish, it will open up the main window of FileZilla. Now we are ready for the next step. How to set up a connection to your web host. Now that you have FileZilla installed on your computer, you should learn how to transfer the files from your computer to your server using this software. Before you start, Transferring your files from your computer to your server, you need to establish a connection to your server. To do this, you need to follow three simple steps. First is open the FileZilla program, enter the connection details, and connect your computer to your server. 
Let's go through these three steps very quickly. Open up the FileZilla software, then click on File, and then click on Site Manager. This will open the Site Manager window. Here, go and click on New Site, and enter the website address. In this case, we are going to enter it as Rapid Blogging videoguide.com here you need to enter some of the details in order to establish connection of your computer to your web host to get these details go to your email and check for the original email that was sent to you by Bluehost or any of your web host provider go to your email service provider and check for the first email that was sent to you from Bluehost under this email you will have something called as FTP information which will have all the details that you need to enter in the site manager window the first thing you'll have is host you will have the username and the password copy all these details one by one to your site manager once you have entered the host detail in this box, make sure you have selected file transfer protocol in the server type. Next on the logon type, click the drop down menu and click on normal. Copy and paste the username from your email and enter the password. Once you have entered all the details, click on OK. Now you have established a connection to your server using FileZilla. To check if this established connection is working properly, click on this drop down arrow below the file that will display your domain name. Click on the domain name and it should establish connection automatically to your server. If everything is done correctly, you should get this message saying directory listing successful and all your server files will be displayed on the right hand side in this area on the left hand side and that is in this area are the files that are existing on your computer to upload a file from your computer to your server all you have to do is select the appropriate folder on your server where you want the file to be uploaded once you have selected the appropriate folder, all you have to do is select the appropriate file on your computer, right click on that file and click on upload. In my future videos, I'll be showing you what to upload and the exact location where you need to upload. And this things make a lot more sense in the future videos. And that's pretty much it on how you can establish a connection using FileZilla to your server and how you can upload and transfer files from your computer to your server. Before I conclude, let's quickly summarize the important things that we discussed in this video. First we discussed what is FTP and why you need it. Then we discussed about the FileZilla software that we used to upload files from your computer to your web host and uh, how to download and install the FileZilla software and I showed you how to set up a connection with your web host. Before I conclude, I would like to offer you my free blogpreneurship e-course which is a step-by-step e-course on basics of blogging. This e-course contains great content, resources and videos about blogging. It took me a lot of time and a lot of frustration to get my hands on this information and I have summed up and packaged this information into a simple to follow step by step echoes. This echoes is simple to follow with no geek talk. No worries if you are a non-technical person, you will still be able to follow this easy echoes and get your blog online very very soon. To get access to this free e-course, please go to www.prajwalshinde.com 
enter your email and click on free instant access to subscribe to my ecos i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any comments or experiences that you want to share with us please leave it in the comment section below this video thank you for watching this video and i will see you very soon in my next video